Hello techies. Welcome back to Power Automate Desktop Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will learn how to add a new worksheet to an existing Excel by using Excel action that is add new worksheet Excel action. All right. Before that, let me show you a small example over here. If you see on my screen, I'm having employee selection Excel, which is having a sheet with the name of HR process. What is my use case? I want to add a new sheet over here before or after having the sheets. How can I go ahead and do that? Over here, if you see, I'm having insert worksheet. Let's click on that so that it will add a new worksheet. All right. Now, how can we do the same thing by using Power Automate? Let me switch to Power Automate. First of all, what I'm going to do, I'm going to launch an Excel to create an instance for the Excel. And here, launch Excel, I'm going to select open the following document. Now, I'm going to select document path. The document which I have shown, it is there on the desktop. Let me select the desktop over here. You can find employee selection. Let me select that. And after that, make instance visible. What will happen this one? It will show an instance over here at the runtime when the flow is executing. Right now, what I'm going to do, I'm not giving, I'm making it as false over here. After that, the Excel instance, I'm going to store in the Excel instance flow variable. Let's click on save. Now, for this Excel with the name of employee selection that I'm having a sheet HR process, I want to add one more sheet over here. So how can we go ahead and we do that by using add a new worksheet action. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. If you see the parameters first, I'm having Excel instance. What is this Excel instance, which we have created as part of the launch Excel action. All right. Now, if you see over here, I'm having new worksheet name. I'm going to give the name over here as employee details. And after that, if you see add worksheet as, if you see it, this is the first worksheet or the last worksheet. So you can add it as the first worksheet to if you are having n number of sheets or else you can add it as a last worksheet. Let me show you that by selecting last worksheet and then I'm going to click on save. Now, once the worksheet has been created so that what I can do, I can close the Excel. Let me drag and drop this close Excel onto the workspace. And then I'm going to give Excel instance, the same instance which we have created as part of the launch Excel. And then before closing, I want to save the document. All right, let me click on save. Now let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started and you can see it's very fast. It has been closed also. Now, let me open the employee selection over here. Let's double click on that. Now, if you see previously we had HR process. Now I'm having employee details or the last of the Excel. This is the last Excel, right? Now what I will do, I will add a new work item saying that employee info. But here what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a worksheet as first worksheet. What will happen in that case, it will add before the HR process over here. All right. Now let me click on save. Now let's run the flow. Flow execution started and also it has been closed the Excel very faster. Now let's open the employee selection once again. Now if you see the before the HR process at the first sheet, employee info has been created. All right. Now in such a way, if you are having n number of worksheets, you can add the worksheet at the first place or you can add the worksheet at the last place of the Excel. I hope you understand how to add a new worksheet to an existing Excel by using add new worksheet Excel action. Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.